A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Ein wunderschönen guten Morgen zu neuen Video. Today, a problem from the 1972 Junior Maths competition. We have a circle given. Um, it's approximately a circle, <laughs> you, you can see here. And well, we also have two chords given. One with the length of, of eight, and for the other one, we only know this part down here with a length of three. And what we need to find out is the radius r today of the circle. Yeah, quite an interesting problem, I suppose. Um, I haven't solved through it yet, so it's rather improvised, but I'm pretty certain that we can solve it. Um, yeah, and as far as I am concerned for an equation of a circle, um, it has three unknowns, we have three givens, so it should be uniquely solvable to get ourselves the radius r. Try it out for yourself before watching the video, and once you're done, keep watching the video for the solution. By the way, this video today has been sponsored by the wonderful people over on Brian. If you want to learn more about geometry and the like, check the link out at the end of the description. More information also at the end of the video. And now we are going to dive right in. So, um, when I look at this, this just smiles at me to place a coordinate system in here. So, I don't know about you, but this looks like a circle which is shifted in some kind of way in a coordinate system. So, if we put this into coordinate system, like so, well, that looks way better. This looks like anal geometry, just how Papa loves it. Bit of anal in the morning is always good. Now, um, we need to give it some points, okay? So we know that this right here is the origin. So if we go on the x axis, six units to there, this point has the coordinates six and zero. Um, here, two units in a negative x direction, so this point right here is negative two and zero. And right here, three units in a negative y direction, so this should give us um, zero and negative three in our case. Okay, so we got three points, and with three points, the equation of a circle is actually uniquely determined. So we just need to solve a system of equation, it seems. Um, for an equation of a circle, which is shifted in some kind of way in the coordinate system, we always have that um, the equation is r squared is equal to x minus the um, shift in the x direction, all of the squared, plus y minus the shift in the y direction, y not, and all of the squared. And now we can plug a few points in. Um, I think I am going to go with the points where the x coordinate is um, actually defined at the moment. Um, by something non-zero, just because um, that way, if we plug zero into here, we are going to get one naught squared on both equations. And if we then subtract these, we are going to eliminate the whole y part and we can solve thus for x naught, I suppose. So let's plug this in. Um, so for the first one, if you plug negative two and zero in, we are going to get r squared is equal to, um, so negative two minus x naught, whole thing squared. And then we are going to get plus y is zero, so zero minus y naught squared. Um, obviously, if we have negative and negative and we square all of this, we can factor out a negative one, negative one squared is just positive one. So yeah, I'm going to simplify it like this. Also, um, this, this part right here is just going to turn into negative one naught squared. So this is just one naught squared. Meaning, let's rewrite this and let's write out the binomial formula. Um, R squared for the first equation is hence um, four plus four x naught. And then we're going to get plus x naught squared and then plus one naught squared. Okay, let us continue with the next one when we plug in this one right here and then we can start eliminating, I suppose. Um, for the next one, I'm going to put this here such that the next equation will go here and then we can take a look at the system of equations that we get. So we get r squared is equal to, um, in our case, if we plug six into here, we are going to get um, six minus x naught squared. And then once again, we get the same situation, zero into here, we are going to get plus one naught squared. Okay, meaning that's equivalent to saying the second equation is going to give us r squared is equal to binomial theorem um, 36, this time minus uh, 6 times 2 is 12, x naught plus x naught squared, yeah, plus x naught squared plus y naught squared. 
Okay, and now we can start subtracting these two from one another. Um, yeah, I'm going, yeah, it, it, it really doesn't matter which direction, I suppose. Let's do it like this. Um, R squared is going to cancel out, giving us zero on the left hand side. Um, zero is hence equal to um, 36 minus 4 is giving, going to give us 32. Um, then we are going to get negative 12. Negative 4 is going to give us negative 16, x naught. And obviously those are going to cancel out in the process giving us this equation which is very easy to solve for x naught, meaning x naught is hence, it must be equal to 2 obviously, okay, because 2 times 16 is, or, or negative 16 is negative 32, 32 you can just simply solve. So x naught must be equal to 2. Okay, this is the first one and we can start plugging this into our equation that we have up here. So the equation for the circle is at this point, if this is equal to 2, um, this one right here. Yeah, and now we can start isolating for why not. And yeah, for this, we are just going to use our last equation that we got here, plugging it into here. And also we can substitute the x naught into these equations right here. Um, let us just do this real quick. So if x naught is equal to two, um, we are going to get negative 24 on this part. And also we are going to get plus four Meaning overall, this is going to give us, yeah, this is nice. Um, yeah, no, no, obviously, oh, those are going to be the same. Um, this is going to give us negative 20, so this right here is going to give us 16. So meaning this second equation is equal to r squared, is equal to 16 plus one on squared. This one of the equations and the other one we can just ignore this basically um, because we have an equation here and we can use this one right here and then we are basically done. So plugging this into here we are going to get um, okay r squared is hence equal to plugging zero into here we are going to get negative two squared which is the same as four and then we are going to get plus and then y is in our case is negative three so negative three minus one naught squared. And just like before, um, we can factor out negative one here, giving us overall that r squared is equal to um, four plus. So this is going to give us by the binomial theorem none plus six one naught um, plus one naught squared. Yeah, a four plus nine is going to give us 13 in the process. Yeah, now we have two more equations that we can basically add together or subtract from one another. Um, okay, now if we were to subtract these two from one another, what we are going to get is in the process. Okay, let us compare. R squared is going to cancel out once again, so zero is equal to. Then we are going to get one not squared and one not squared is going to cancel out in the process. Um, and also 16 minus 13 is going to give us just three. And also zero in this equation minus six one not is going to give us negative six one not. Meaning overall we can solve the whole thing for one not, giving us that um, six one not is equal to three. Or in other words, since 6 is a success of 5, by definition not equal to 0, we're going to get that 1 naught is equal to 3 divided by 6 or 1 half. Okay, uh, okay, we are actually going to get a rational shift. Um, okay, meaning our r squared, so the equation for our circle, r squared is hence equal to um, x minus 2 squared plus 1 minus 1 half, in our case, squared. Okay, and now we can finally solve for r, because now we can plug a point in and then we are done. It really doesn't matter which one we plug in, which one gives us the easiest solution. Um, I'm just going to go with the first one, negative two and zero. If we were to plug this in, we are going to get that r squared is equal to plugging negative two into here. So negative two minus two squared plus and zero into here, so negative one half squared. So this right here is negative 4 squared, it's going to give us 16 plus 1 quarter. 
Oh, that's curious. Um, 4 times 64 is... No, 4 times 16 is 64. <laughs> I was looking at the 4 and the 6 and this by accident gave me the answer already. So 64 plus 1 is 65 divided by 4 is equal to R squared. Don't forget this. Meaning in the process and R is positive, it's radius. So taking the positive third is going to give us that R is equal to... Um, 65 divided by 4 by the square root of that. Square root of 65 is, well, just square root of 65, obviously, um, divided by 2. And this right here is my solution, and I hope it is correct. And I hope you figured the same thing out. I hope I didn't do any donkey doody doodly do mistake. Um, but yeah, that's a curious answer. I fought for a junior maths competition. It would be a better answer than square root of 65. But um, yeah, that's what it is. That's actually a nice exercise. Maybe find um, shifts here, such that you get some kind of rational um, radius. Uh, don't know if that's possible, probably. But yeah, try it out for yourself. Um, that was a fun problem. I really liked this. And if you're interested in more geometry, algebra, and all of the cool things that we did here today, then why not try out the content of today's sponsor, Brian, who are kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel. I really enjoy those competitive math problems. They always have some um, great solution to them. Uh, most of the time I don't get the answer, okay? By myself, because they are pretty damn hard if you don't practice for a certain kind of thing. But if you get to the answer in some kind of way, it's so damn satisfying. And if you are currently preparing for competitive mathematics in some kind of way, be it Putnam or the integration B, for example, then Brilliant might be the perfect source for you to get prepared for these events. Over in Brilliant, you can actually find a dedicated contest and also competitive math exercise session. A whole course filled with a lot of stuff, starting off from competitive number theory over to algebra and also calculus. Also including things like circles and geometry in the process. And the best thing about Brilliant is that all of their courses are backed by graphics. Okay, this right here sucks. This is not a good graphic. But if you take a look at the graphics over on Brilliant and their visuals, they are great. They are good stuff. Those visuals are top tier learning content. And even better than that, they are interactive. Interactive in the sense that you can play around with these graphics. If you have a circle and you want to find out something about the chords and the like, why not drag the circle around, okay? Those graphics, it's over there on Brilliant. You can play around with the circle and see what the shift in the coordinates are going to do to the position of the circle in the coordinate system. You can also do this with parabolas. How the parameters, once you change them, are going to act on the size and also the form and the shape of the parabola. It's seriously amazing and you should try it out for yourself. So if you are preparing for something like contest mathematics or you just want to brush up on some topics in the STEM branch, then definitely make sure to go over to Brian by using the link down there in the description, brian.org slash flamblemass. With it, you're going to get free access to a big portion of Brian already. But more importantly, the first 200 people to actually make use of the link get 20% of an annual premium subscription, which is a great deal considering that they have over 60 interactive courses in all topics STEM that you can possibly think of and they are adding new courses on a regular basis. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And other than that, if you enjoyed this video, why not make sure to also check out Flemmy's Word. It's my wordworking channel where you can watch more of the Papa. And yeah, don't forget to pre-register for WAC, my mobile game. Link down in the description. And until next video, I wish you guys a guys a flamble day. <sighs> I'm going to go to bed now. It's about <laughs> nearly um, zero in the morning. Yeah. Uh, ciao. <laughs> it's, I, I was once again lying to you. It's not even morning. Good evening, fellow mathematicians. Sleep well.